Well, Davos is always a very eventful week, uh, and uh, this year is no less eventful. This week, you know, at the same time, we have uh, Trump's inauguration, and also Xi Jinping's, uh, you know, first time uh, coming to Davos uh, and delivering uh, what everyone uh, seemed to see as a very open and progressive and liberal message. So people are quite. Uh, are, were quite uh, surprised at the change in tone between Trump and Xi Jinping and people are saying that this might be that moment when we look back in history and see that shift in leadership um, uh, from, from the US to China. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to be so dramatic, uh, but I, I do think that's, that's one structural shift that's occurring in our world today. Oxfam came out with a report earlier this week saying that the eight richest people in this world own more than the bottom three and a half billion people. Um, and you know that that's just a st statistic, but I think it does highlight uh, the stark inequality that we're living in today, and a lot of the problems that we face today is a result of that inequality. Um, so I think this year's uh, theme on uh, responsive and responsible leadership is very important. I think leaders today recognize that they must be responsive to what the constituents want, but also responsible, because only being responsive, I think, leads to uh, uh, sort of problematic sort of populism. Uh, but a combination of responsiveness and responsible leadership, I think, is what the world needs today.